before the twins were born, Jim was obsessed with worry that um, they would both look alike and he would never be able to tell one mm -hmm. from the other. He couldn't tell the, the Cannon boys apart. Mm -hmm. And that really distressed him. So that when they were born and were girls, and neither and both of them were different, they were separate, really different, as Kate said later on in Texas, uh, in uh, Arizona, when we were buying bathing suits. She said, we're only two, we're two little girls that were born at the same time. <laughs> the, the clerk asked Kate, they were buying bathing suits. Vicky wanted a two piece. Kate wanted a one piece. And then the clerk said, and I heard overheard this conversation. Uh, did I hear your mother say that you girls are twins? And Kate, quick as a wink, said, No, we're not twins. We were, we were just two little girls that were born at the same time. Because <laughs> they didn't look at all like each other. And they don't today. So it was that was really I remember that. Cool. And, uh, but from a point of view of a 40-year-old mother who had already sent five, five children pretty much on their way, it was a great joy to have two, because then I knew they would always have someone to play with. And, and I wondered if I would have trouble finding playmates for them because, of course, my friends were all through that child care in years. Mm -hmm. But there was never that problem. They always got along very well together. Mm -hmm. and they were always in separate grades, I mean, separate rooms. They never, they never were in the same. I guess in kindergarten they were perhaps. Well, no, I don't think so. They they were separated right from the beginning, but they had excellent grounding. They both read early and read well, and have continued continued to this day to be good readers, which I think is the most important thing you can get from education is the joy of reading and learning.